Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. We're working on this brand new Nissan Maxima. We built an enclosure for this customer a while back and he wanted to tackle the install himself. Bought all top of the line high quality equipment, asked us for some advice. So the wiring was done correctly, so it's not a wiring rescue. It just wasn't as neat as we would have done it. But um, this is where he made a major mistake. He used wood to make the speaker adapters in the door. So he knew enough to fabricate the adapters and not destroy the factory speakers and mount the speakers in. But wood is not a good choice for anything in the door. Anything that comes in contact with moisture has to be composite, it has to be plastic. We make all our speaker adapters out of plastic. And this is exactly why. Look at this. So the adapter is all warped. It's actually got mold growing on it. Started to rip here. And just because that's where the, see that? Just because that's where the bolt holes are, don't mean you have to make the entire adapter. You could have made the bottom part of the adapter out of quarter or half inch plastic. And then this section, just a ring. So I'm sure this is coming in contact with the door panel. I gotta check that out. And it's just not the best way to do it. So now we're gonna take it apart and make it right. So as Brian rotates the speaker adapter, you'll see that the wood expanded to more than double its size on the bottom, just cause water gets in there and wood's not waterproof. That's all right, we're gonna make it right. We're gonna treat these speakers with respect and this beautiful Maxima with respect. He installed one of our favorite tweeters, but A, double-sided tape is not gonna hold this heavy-ass tweeter, and B, we can't service it because there's no quick disconnect. So we're gonna have to cut that wire. Little rookie mistakes, but not bad as far as a do-it-yourself. Okay, so here's the before. There's the after. So it's gonna line up perfectly. We're gonna use stainless steel hardware, flange bolts to mount it to the door. And then we're gonna do our stinger, a fast ring to coupler to the door, cut it down to size, add dender, seal up those holes, and we're gonna have a ton of mid base. And something's gonna last the customers the life of the car. Brian's applying the sound deadener. And this door is almost ready to go. Wars. Wars. Wars.